it's viewers like you that keep this channel going and growing. So if you like today's video and you see yourself coming back, please consider subscribing and leaving us a like. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date on new episodes. And if you want even more great content, check out For the Love of It podcast over at the FTL podcast channel. Link will be in the description. Stay tuned for our weekly live stream Q&As. Stop in to say hi, ask us questions, or just hang out. Also, we have merch. Check it out in the link below. All right, let's get back to the video. <laughs> Life is complex, like a Mandelbrot said. It's like a spoon. Or maybe it was a knife. No, it was definitely a fork. A plastic fork. <sighs> let's just start at the beginning. It was a beautiful day for a walk as I headed towards the park at the end of the street like I normally did. There, in the dirt next to a tree, was a fork. To be honest, I've probably passed by hundreds of discarded plastic forks on the ground over my life. Aside from picking it up to throw it away, you'd be hard pressed to find anyone who would give it a second glance. And yet, there I was. Maybe it was the brightness of the fork which made it stand out from its surroundings. Or perhaps it was the fact that not much else lay near or around it. Either way, I took notice. I wonder what story this fork could tell, I thought to myself as I imagined a tiny camera attached to it, capturing all of its history and secrets. Although it's likely that the fork was discarded by someone walking down the sidewalk, Perhaps it was a squirrel who carried the fork with him as he attempted to carry it up a tree. Or perhaps rainwater washed it away from a picnic to where it lives now. Either way, someone at some point used this specific fork. It could tell a story of where it's been. The story of how it got to where it is now and how long it's been there. The story of who used it and who bought it from the store it once lived in. A story of the delivery truck that drove it, and the story of the factory that made it as well as the materials that it was made from. Yet there it sat, by a tree in a small neighborhood, a place that most people would never even know existed. Later that night, the image of a fork stuck in my mind as I happened upon a Mandelbrot set, a simple mathematical equation that when plotted on a graph, seems to twist and turn endlessly no matter which part of the graph you zoom into. No matter how much I pinched or scrolled, the patterns never ended. Even the smallest, most obscure part of the image had a complex pattern to share. It just went on and on, spiraling, curving, and wrapping itself around over and over again. I wondered what if life and that plastic fork is a Mandelbrot set? The sun sits at the center of our solar system. Beyond it, planets, moons, asteroids, and comets all revolve around its gravity and pull. Further still, stars upon stars, millions or billions of which are just like our own. As we leave the Milky Way, we're inundated with billions of other galaxies, nebulae, and empty space. Galaxies live together to form clusters. Clusters come together to form superclusters. So on and so on. Just like that Mandelbrot set, the universe is an immense expanse, the end of which is only the beginning. On and on it goes. And yet there, shuffled into the edge of a small galaxy in a small solar system, on a small rock covered in water and teeming with life, is you. And what's even more mind-boggling is that you are more complex than the system of planets around you. Organs make up the systems of your body, tissues make up your organs, cells make up your tissues, proteins make up your cells, amino acids make up your proteins, DNA makes up your amino acids, atoms make up your DNA, so on and so on. It feels like it could go on forever, just like the universe. Yet, there seemed to be more to that fork than just its material complexity. Sure, it's composed of a complex arrangement of carbon and hydrogen, but the moments it had been witness to were also complex. 
there is a complexity to the kind of people who walked past it and the conversations they had along the way. There is a complexity to the weather it saw and the animals who may have wandered over to inspect it. And yet, at the end of the day, a fork is still just a fork. It doesn't compare to the complexity that surrounds our lives. Even the simplest of lives is an immeasurably complex Mandelbrot. Consider all the moments you've shared in your life, the number of which is nearly incalculable. There is a context to each and every one of those moments, even the moments when you were alone. Consider all the moments you've been afraid, happy, sad, confused, angry, or worried. Each and every one of those moments is merely a minute branch of the Mandelbrot set of your life. All that you love, all that you hate, all that you've been, all that you will be, all the places you've gone, all the moments you've shared, and all the work that you've done is just a capstone to the depth of complexity that is your life. And it's not just the moments themselves that are complex, but it's also the time in your life when those moments are from that is complex. A moment from my life 20 years ago is not only uniquely complex in and of itself, but it's also dramatically different from a moment in my life today, for the simple fact that I'm not the same individual that I was 20 years ago. In a way, you and I are just like that plastic fork. We are one of many, and yet we have our own story to tell that is unlike any other. Seeing life from such a vantage point makes being in crowded places feel almost novel or uncanny. It's like being afloat in space with each and every person I pass by, a wholly different and unique galaxy, filled with solar systems and planets never before seen or heard of. Airports and cities are a great place for this. Waiting in an airport or being in a city alone feels like being adrift in an unfamiliar space. The dozens of people around you are unknown to you. They're not a part of the complex Mandelbrot of your life. To you, their existence is like the billions of light years of empty space between galaxies and stars. Yet their experiences, their existence, their lives are just as incredibly complex as your own. Each and every one of those people are a plastic fork. And there's a sea of them stretching infinitely off into the distance. Just a few weeks ago, some friends and I went on a camping trip. The first day we were there, we grabbed a lunch at a small cafe in a small town in what felt like the middle of nowhere. A waitress walked up to take our order. She reminded me of that plastic fork. Here in a small cafe in a small town in the middle of nowhere was her. A waitress. A Mandelbrot set. Someone I had never seen before, and someone I will probably never see again. It was a small pocket of intricate life that I was given the opportunity to know, if only for a few minutes. So let's back up. The universe is an immeasurably massive and complex place. Yet, in a small region of space shuffled away into a small galaxy, revolving around a normal star is a complex and incredibly diverse planet. On that incredibly diverse planet is wildlife, each and every one of which is complex on its own. Then there are things. Cars, houses, pools, buildings, planes, shirts, boxes, and, of course, forks. All of which have their own story to tell, and yet all of which were made by people. People who are individually complex, too. Each person carries with them a story that is their own, filled with their own experiences, memories, and moments. It seems like life is a Mandelbrot set, after all. In fact, it's this very comparison that can not only teach us quite a bit about the world we live in, but it can also teach us about ourselves. It teaches us to never stop creating, never stop learning, or never stop discovering. Just as life in the universe we live in is seemingly complex beyond measure, so too are those things which are waiting to be discovered in it. There are an endless amount of unique experiences to be had. It's an incredible thing that life is so complex and diverse. We can spend our entire lives seeking to know the world fully, 
And yet, not even a hundred lifetimes could scratch the surface of what there is to find. Yes, there might be thousands of other artists out there, but don't ever let that stop you from making music. After all, you'll never discover or create what you're not looking for. Another thing it teaches us is that the universe is knowable or comprehensible. Perhaps I can put it this way. If I was to make pancakes, I would need a recipe in order to do so. I'm not that great of a cook on my own. That recipe would not only tell me how to make pancakes, but it would also tell me what ingredients I would need to make them. Without a recipe, there would be no pancakes. In fact, there would probably be nothing even resembling pancakes. Just like the recipe for pancakes, the simple mathematical equations behind a Mandelbrot set determine what it will look like. The intricate designs and beautifully ornate structures all exist because of specific equations that give structure and order to it. Just like how a pancake recipe gives structure and order to the ingredients I bought to make one. If life really is like a Mandelbrot set, then I would be remiss not to assume that the same must be true about you, me, and the world we live in. Just as a recipe gives order to pancakes and equations give order to a Mandelbrot, perhaps there is something which gives order to us. Sure, life may seem chaotic and random, but the fact that it's searchable and knowable is anything but. The fact that I can know something about the world I live in means there is some degree of order to it. It's not just the case that I can know something about the world I live in, but I can also create things through it and in it. After all, humanity created the wheel, built homes, created cities, and grew into a technological civilization. However, this leaves us with a question. Where did this come from? Some say God created order from chaos. Others believe the universe ordered itself. Others still argue that the universe we live in is a simulated reality, created by a higher intelligence or civilization. Of course, I'm sure the opposite could be the case. Perhaps we do live in a world that is wholly and utterly random. Maybe there is no structure at all. Maybe everything simply feels like it has structure to it because it's our brain's way of processing the absurdity of the universe we live in. Regardless of our assumptions or preconceived notions about the world, that plastic fork and that Mandelbrot set remind us that we should never stop asking questions about it. What we might discover in the process may lead to incredible transformation in the way that we live our lives. It might pave the way for a better future, for you and for those you love. It might lead to discovering who you are and to understanding more about those around you. It might lead us to humbly setting aside our often petty hatreds for one another and being connected by the humbling experience of realizing how much bigger the world is than we are and how intricate the lives of those around you are. Albert Einstein once remarked that the most incomprehensible thing about the universe is that it is comprehensible. Far from being terrifying or unnerving, the comprehensibility of the universe is mesmerizing. It's a gift, one that we get to explore, one that we get to know, and one that we are blessed to be a part of.